My name is Valentin Hoyn and I'm a research assistant in the MIT Media Lab. I'm part of a group that's called Fluid Interfaces. And the Fluid Interfaces group looks into how we can think outside of the box that we call a computer, because that box, since the first time that it has been introduced, has never changed. The interface has not changed, but we have changed how we use it. Imagine you could sit on your workspace and every object around you, appliances on your desk, your light, your chair, everything around you is not set how it should behave. If you want, you can connect a knob to a light or to two lights and control them. At the same time, that knob could also control the chair that you're sitting on. Or imagine that chair that you're sitting on actually is responsive to the environment. So if you leave, the environment reacts on you leaving because you wanted it, so you set it up. And when you leave, the car that you're driving with home, that actually already started and that already set the air condition in the room perfectly. It's not too hot, it's not too cold because that car is connected to the seat that you were sitting on. And it is connected because you wanted it that way. And now you drive with this car around and this car has a lot of functionality in it, but this functionality has been designed for people that are maybe not you, maybe other people. And maybe settings in that car are relevant to you. Something like you have music that has a lot of bass and it's meaningful to you, but it was not meaningful to the designer that was maybe designing for a complete different kind of group. But what if you could reprogram the functionality of that car? What if you can just say, oh, there's a knob and I want this space function to be controlled by me and I want to have it physically and I want to have it in this way when I drive. Or I have all the windows in my car and it's, it's not so easy to turn them all down. I just want to have a simple function that if I turn it on, the air condition stops, the windows go down, everything is set as I want it. And now you take this car and you drive into other spaces. And on these other spaces, you can use the same tool that you use to project the web into the physical space and just interact with the physical space as it would be part of the internet. The reality editor is that digital tool, that digital screwdriver that allows you to fix and connect and manipulate how these things behave. <laughs>